All right, so Arcane Odyssey has been out for a few days and I still see a lot of people trying to sink ships, but they are doing it the wrong way. But don't worry, I got you in this video. But before we get into it, I just want to cover over the shipyard real quick. If your ship is ready to go and then you just know what you're doing, then just go to the timestamp later, later in this video, right? So boom, let's get into actually getting a ship. If you don't have a ship right now, I don't know what's going on, but you need to get yourself a ship. So you want to go over to a ship right and um i'm at frost mill island right now so it doesn't really matter what island you can get a ship at it's just it's everywhere right you just want to go to a regular ship right go to ships and you can just buy whatever boat you want me personally i prefer the caravel and reason why is because there's um a ram and we'll cover over, we'll cover the blueprints and all that stuff later in the video but i choose chose the caravel just for the ram because that's how i do most of my damage so boom a lot of people are struggling to get actual crew members i have uh, the ravina deserters which is on ravina and you get that this is this will be your, like later into the game but let's just say you're you're new and you're not at ravina right now the best place to get it so far is the beginner island which is uh the first island which is red wake red wake uh there's this, this guy i think he sells uh i think you're recruiting for 350 uh gold or whatever the currency is in this game and the good thing about this particular crewmate he's actually neutral meaning that you can buy this guy if you're a villain hero or neutral and it's really convenient so if you don't want to make that trip going all the way to the first island because it's really long and i know some people do not want to make that trip especially if you're in mid game or end game there's a second crewmate that you can buy that's also neutral and he costs 350 and he's located at sailor's lodge right mid game you should be able to get to him very easily and i'm pretty sure this guy is actually better than the first one i'm not too sure because i haven't bought any of them but the people that I have, which is the third most easiest guy to get, is at Ravina. Now, with these guys, these guys are actually villains. I don't know how I was able to buy them because I was a hero at the time. So, But I plan on being the villain, so that's why I picked them up anyway. So to get these guys, I'm pretty sure you have to beat the main quest line in Ravina. And they spawn next to the shiny plains right in this location at the edge of the island. I don't see them anymore because I already bought them, but they're really at like they're at the edge of the island. So you shouldn't be able to like miss them, right? They're just there. You can talk to them and they tell you that, yo, we're murderers. Do you really want us on your crew? And I said yes because I want to be a villain later on in the game, right? So boom, those are the three most easiest ways to get uh well not the I'm not gonna say the easiest, but those are the three ways that I know to get the crewmates. So let's get into the quartermaster. So with the quartermaster, me personally, I use this wizard guy, which is located at Frost Mill Island. Once you actually beat the story for the Frost Mill Island, there's this wizard guy that gives you a quest. I'm pretty sure the question mark is gold. You talk to this wizard guy, he gives you like these series of quests where you have to pick up, I think it was watermelon and some other stuff. And he has you travel like maybe to like three islands. I'm not too sure because it's been a minute. And once you actually complete those quests, he actually becomes your quartermaster and the good thing about this guy is and this is why i use him is you get to enchant your gear while you're on your ship i find this very convenient because i don't feel like going to certain spots because i don't remember every where all the alchemy spots are in every island on this uh, game so i can just go to my ship enchant my armor and boom i'm ready to go so the second quartermaster that i know of is located at elm island and the cool thing about this guy he's actually a marine deserter and he looks like an assassin so for all my villains who wants to have that like cool little assassin look get this guy because he obviously he's a marine deserter and he looks cool to me he looks like a villain right so with this guy he gives you a quest you have to collect 20 uh fish and i didn't get this guy just because i didn't feel like collecting 20 fish i was really bored of doing it but he's pretty easy to get it doesn't take too long and boom that is your second quartermaster right so there are probably more quartermasters in this game that i don't know of yet or maybe in future content but boom those are the two ones that i know so far so now let's get into the items for your ship so again you go to your ship right now this guy he sells you certain things like cannons paintbrush a hammer which i will later explain into this game i don't recommend a hammer unless you really need it but he also um sells you cannons which is normal light and heavy and cannonballs stuff like that and a ship name and oil lanterns right now what you want to get obviously is cannons or um it doesn't matter which one you get um i got normal depending on what type of build you're trying to make for your ship but you need to get one of these cannons and obviously pick which uh, cannonball you want to use right so boom now that you have your items you want to go straight into your shipyard now this is where you start applying your stuff to your actual ship 
Again, I'm using the Caravelle. It all depends on what you have. If you have the Caravelle, you would have a, a iron re reinforced ram. I recommend doing this because this is where your damage comes in. And I rarely use, yo, know, I rarely use my cannonballs just because it does so much damage. I just keep ramming into the ship because these pirates for some reason keep running away, which is really annoying. So boom, you want to add your quartermaster, you want to add your Ravina d deserters, and you want to add your cannons. And if you bought oil oil lantern, which I recommend getting as well, because it's dark in this game for some reason, get that as well. So you should have these four things. If you don't have this yet, you're going to get it eventually, right? Now these blueprints are going to be explained later in the video, especially this ram part, right? So, so now that you have everything equipped, now you want to actually sell your ship, right? So boom, as you can see, there's arm canyons. A lot of people missed this and I definitely was one of those people. You wanna click arm canyons. Now everything is armed. You have your people ready to shoot. You wanna click on whatever you want. You, If you wanna click on light, cannonball, heavy cannonball, normal cannonball, wherever you have in your arsenal, you wanna click one of those. So boom, I'm gonna click on uh, normal cannonball. And if, let's just say there's a ship to my right. You want to hold you, you want you don't want to hold it you want to move your mouse up or down just like this is pretty easy it's just like assassin's creed games if you played assassin's creed and then obviously if you want to fire you fire you press left click right just like this easy same thing for the left side if you want to go up or down depending on where the ship is if he's far far left then obviously go a little bit up if he's short if he's like close to you then you go a little bit down and you click the same thing left mouse click right easy so that's pretty much what you do with that. So now let's get into actually sinking a ship. So when you sink a ship, you don't jump off the boat and try to use your magic and kill the uh, Marines or enemies, whoever it is, right? You don't do that. You need to actually sink their ship and that means getting their health bar, their health ship bar to zero. Once it's zero, well, you use your cannons to get to zero. You don't use your magic. You use your cannons to get to zero. Once it's zero, that's when you jump off the boat. You use your magic or whatever build that you're using to kill the actual enemies, right? So be careful when you actually jump on their boat because there's a captain of the ship and usually that captain is not baby. That, that, that captain can do some serious damage if you're not paying attention. So once you actually kill the enemies of that ship, treasure chests are gonna spawn. Well, they should be treasure chests and there should be like actual cargo that you can grab. Get the treasure chests first, open them up and see what you get and then grab the cargo, right? So once you grab the cargo, you press Q and you bring it to your ship on top of your ship and then you press R. Usually there's three, most of the time there's three or four, but I'm pretty sure it's um it's no le it's no less than three. So once you grab all three of them, now you take the actual cargo to the ship, right? Or you can just keep going to kill ship uh pirates or whoever you want to kill over and over again. Usually I do this probably about um I just do it once once or twice just because just in case uh, a shark comes and kill destroys my ship. And that, that would be like the most annoying thing if that actually happens. So once you, you're you done, you go back to your shipwright and you carry the cargo to your shipwright and you sell it to, well, not really sell it. You give it to the guy and he gives you items. Sometimes he gives you blueprints. Sometimes he might give you items and the other, he might just give you some money, right? So put all three to the person that you're trying to give it to the shipwright and you should be good to go. Now let's get into the blueprints, right? So with the blueprints, you want to go over to a guy that has like a little blueprint over his name and you just want to talk to him obviously and this is going to cost a fee to actually use the blueprints so boom as you can see i have a figurehead which cost 80 uh any money right so boom i'm gonna buy this i'm gonna build it and then you want to come over to your shipyard right and right there this is a figurehead which i'm not going to use this figurehead but i'll just use it for the video click on that let me just, just select that boom that is my figurehead so that's all just cosmetic right there that's not actually the ram so with the ram that i was saying earlier in this video this is where i get most of my damage this right here is also a blueprint you can get this from getting, getting the cargo from pirate ships marine ships or whatever ship right wherever you want to attack you get that from the blueprint you it's not a guarantee for each um cargo but it's going to happen eventually same things uh with uh these sails right here as well so last but not least, the repairing your boat system, right? Now, I didn't catch on to this till maybe the third day of this game. I've been wasting so much money repairing my boat with the hammer. And every time you repair your boat with your hammer, I think it costs about three money and it just kept going down and down and down. And if you guys know, you're always getting attacked by either a shark or a pirate or anybody in general, your ship is always getting destroyed, which is the most annoying thing about this game. But you can save a lot of money if you just go to an island 
and you go to ships and you just go to uh well my boat is already healed up but it's going to say do you want to repair your boat for 167 money right or it might be more than that. i'm not too sure it depends on how damaged you, your boat is right all you need to do is click on that and you're back to max do not use the hammer system bro like only use that if you're like in the middle like of the ocean and you have cargo on you or you just don't want to die because you don't want to you know lose any money like that that's the only time you should be using your hammer in this case you're in a serious situation and you're trying to get out of it that's the only time but do not use the hammer unless you really need to just go to the actual ship right go to ships and just repair your boat so that's pretty much it for this video hopefully it's actually helped you out because i do not want to see any more people wasting their time when it comes to sinking ships do not jump on their boat and use your magic or whatever build you have to destroy the ship use your canyons first and then hop on the boat to kill them all right so if i missed anything or if i said something incorrect yo please feel free to leave a comment section or just dm me somewhere so i can you know correct it right so anyway hopefully this video helped you guys out um, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any tips or tricks or if you want to see any video, just let me know in the comment section and I'll see y'all in the next one.